friends, this is Dr. Diane of Dr. Diane's Adventures in Learning. Happy National Science Day. Today, we are going to do a little experiment with Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be experimenting with carbon dioxide with bubbles inside a film canister. So what are you gonna need? experiment, you're going to have to figure out what your variables are. So, for example, if I use the exact same amount of Alka-Seltzer each time, then my variable might be changing the water. It could be changing how much water I put in. It could be changing the temperature of the water. So you get to decide what your variable is in order to make it an experiment. In the canister, the carbon dioxide built up so strongly that it needed a place to go. So it went out the weakest spot, which was the lid. So the lid went one way, the canister went the other. Newton's third law, equal and opposite reaction. I've got some really awesome books that you might enjoy looking at today in order to be able to continue your Science Day adventures. First of all, anything by Steve Spangler is absolutely worth going and grabbing. He's got some great experiments to do at home and at school. I also really love Mission to Space by John Harrington. He was the first Native American to live on the International Space Station. There's My Rainy Day Rocket Ship by Markel Shepard. It's a great imagination piece. You could tie it to building your own rocket and to your imagination. Ada Twist Scientist for my moon friend, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star by Grace Lynn. And one of my new favorites is Lift by Dan Santot. It's a great one for using your imagination as you think about where your adventures in space will take you. Thanks for joining me today for our science adventure.